same, but what particularly bothered you about the steps taken by retired Justice Rich? Uh, well, everything. Everything he said publicly was false and defamatory. It uh, categorized me as somebody who I'm not. Um, and I think the most challenging part of of the fact that he was seeing this is that he has a, a perceived level of credibility in the community, uh, one by virtue of his his background and position as a, a former justice, and two by the fact that he was actually privy to the facts uh, of the incident. But yet his report would indicate quite the contrary. It was ripe with speculation. His own opinion that that was to me in essence in essence founded. Uh, in, in, in no understanding of, of the situation, let alone the law, it seemed more of a, a, a narrative from a Sherlock Holmes movie than it was a, a, what you'd expect from somebody of, uh, of his stature and background. It was, it was extremely difficult to, to have that out there, and, and that was uh, amplified by the fact that my own organization didn't say anything in defense to it. It, it, it attacked some of the fundamental principles of, of, use, of uh, use of force that are, that are well established and understood in this country and have been for a very long time. So it was difficult for, to hear that from an educated person uh, because it, it lacked uh, objectivity and understanding. But then secondly, my own organization uh, permitted that information to, be, to proliferate unchallenged and allow public confidence to be eroded in our organization and, and me personally.